Chamber. Coquelin looking for Bearing. And Nanny. So Chamberlain uses him pace impressively. And even more impressive hanger by Alexis Sanchez gives Arsenal the lead. Well, that was a classic bit of centre forwards play from Alexis Sanchez. It really was when you look at his movement in the box, just a sneak in ahead of the mean Kone. I mean, the cross, first of all, is top class for Moxley Chamberlain. Look at that. Kone doesn't know where his man is. And that's what you want to do as a, as a striker, as a centre forward, just keep out of his eye line and then just at the right moment sneak ahead. That's exactly what he does. And what a header. What a header. Beautifully crafted goal from Arsenal. to stop that one Pickford Kone's kicking himself that he couldn't do anything about it and a penalty one end give away one the other for Arsenal does all he has to do here what more this time Martin Atkinson does point to the spot and he's got a point it's a foul Jermaine Defoe has the opportunity from the penalty spot to bring Sunderland unravel. It would be an unlikely scoreline, I have to say, if he gets it. But no one here at the stadium right will care about that. And he has scored. Arsenal have shot themselves in the foot. And thrown away that lead. Well, fair play to Jermaine Defoe. I think Petr Cech had obviously done his homework. He'd seen what we saw. But Defoe normally puts it to his left. Goes the other way. That's when you need an experienced old head. And Defoe certainly that. Another look at the foul. I don't think really Arsenal can have too many complaints about that. And his team have been better second half. That's Jelny, finding Sanchez. And the cross came into Giro. Well, it didn't take long, did it? Olivier Giro from the bench onto the score sheet. Arsenal's lead has been restored. Well, talk about super sub. Is that his first touch? And what a decisive one it was. It's a great response from Arsenal. who would have been knocked back on the heels by that equaliser, but Kieran Gibbs that gets the space, gets the time to pick out the centre forward who doesn't disappoint. Again, they drop off, don't get close enough to Giroud. Just what Sunderland didn't need, having got back into it, but a really good finish from the Frenchman. Really good, sending a message to the gaffer. Go with the header out, another in. Arsenal corner. No. What a one out to go. No. Oh, the keeper struggling. They score again. What an impact he has made. Oh. Olivier Giroud oh. with his second goal in a matter of minutes. But it's a classic near post run. We've seen a couple of classic centre forward goals today. One from Sanchez and one from him, or two from him really. But he scored a few like this in his time. I mean, it's not the most powerful header, but it's just that glance off the top of the head. Pickford can't move the feet, can't get the purchase on the jump. And I think that's good night nurse for this match. A lot to do, really, from that position, Giroud. Does it brilliantly. He actually scored uh, for both teams uh, when Arsenal beat Sunderland 3 1 at the end of last season. Two goals now, but both in the right net. Not sure our cameraman appreciated the. Uh, 
space opening up again for Sanchez. And behind him for Elmay. Gibbs on the overlap. Against the post, the goalkeeper struggling. Sanchez finds the net. Oh, lovely feet. This could be anything. The way this match is going now, and the fans streaming out in their hordes. A brief bit of hope for David Moyes with that penalty, but not now. Two for Giro, two for Sanchez. Mission complete. Yeah, I mean, they would have been kicking themselves arsenal if they hadn't won this game, having been so far ahead in quality. This is lovely stuff from the Chilean. Really quick feet.